Hello people around the world. I finally decided to rebuild my workspace and in this video I'm going to show you before and after. Currently I'm living in Vilnius, Lithuania, quite standard Soviet era three rooms flat on 8th floor near the Vilnius TV tower, which is in the top 10 tallest European buildings. It's over 300 meters tall. Here we can also see through the window these ugly Soviet buildings. We were built in 1970s. I hope in couple years I will sell enough wallet and I will manage to get a deal with the bank and I will get my own home. One of three rooms is dedicated to my workshop. Let's make a quick tour how it looks before. Here is my main workbench where I'm working. There are not very practical shelves here, so it definitely will be rebuilt. Also, I want extra space for my Mac as I'm always watching YouTube while I'm working. In the middle of room is another workbench. This bench also serves as a store for my leather hides and it's also pretty comfortable cutting pieces for wallets from wall hides. Here you can see some pieces ready to be made into wallets. In this corner I have my skimming machine and a mess with these all cutting dies. Here is my whiteboard where I'm registering my orders I have to make. Couple boxes with various leather scraps, which is great when you are developing new designs. In this corner I have my photo and light gear. Mostly I'm using this camera, this is Canon 200D. And this one, which I'm filming now, is mirrorless Canon M50. Here is a Godox SL60 light, pretty good budget light. Also reflector here and kind of random stuff on the shelves. If you saw my videos before, they are shot at this angle, which I really don't like. I have planned to shoot this direction. I want to make this space more comfortable for shooting videos, because setting up gear every time is the most annoying thing with making videos. So probably that's it for before stage. I have some visions what I want to do here and I'm pretty sure I will come up with something else during the process. I don't know how long it takes, but I will try to show you vulnerable process as I can. from Home Depot where I bought some materials and going to make uh, something like workbench with the shelves. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> workbench with the shelves in it for storing my stuff and make my workspace more organized.
one week later. Just got this wild boar skull. Uh, as you probably know, my logo is a wild hog. So I'm going to make something like wall mount from this skull. And first of all, I need to whitening it. I bought some uh, hydrogenium peroxide for whitening and hope it will go great. Glad to welcome you to my new YouTube studio slash workbench. It's how final picture of my future YouTube video should look like. I like dark moody style, so my brand also goes with these black and dark green colors. Just missing uh, this uh, hawk skull, it, it's still soaked in hydrogenium peroxide. After it will be get rid of all blemishes, I will mount it on the wall here. Besides skull, I'm almost done with this rebuild and ready to get back to my craft and making videos. Your questions are always welcome in the comment section as it's the best source of topics for upcoming videos. So feel free to post your question and in the near future it may become a video. Now let's take a quick tour of my new workspace. So what actually I have changed here first of all is walls color. My dad painted it in more dark greenish bluish another major thing is this u-shape workbench in this particular bench i added shelves for storing my dice also vacuum here and the printer another thing i Managed my working tools. I left on the, the tools and the bottles which I'm actually using. Also added this LED strip, but find out it's not very powerful, so we'll need to update to more powerful. Next thing I added another boom arm. This one is for lightning, and another one is for camera to shooting from above. And the final thing, uh, I managed here more space for my camera placement and for shooting videos in this direction. As you saw in previous shot, how it looks. So probably that's it with my workspace update. And see you in the next videos. Bye.